The GOP House Minority Leader in Maine is a guy by the name of Ken Fredette. And he was debating the Medicaid expansion under Obamacare with his colleagues, and he had a precious gaffe. Let's listen. As I listened to the debate today and an earlier debate on this bill, I can't help but think of a title of a book, Men Are From Mars and Women Are From Venus. And it's a book about the fact that men sort of think one way in, in their own brain, in their own world, and women think another way in their brain, in their own world. And it really talks about the way that men and women can do a better job at communicating. Because if you listen to the debate today, in my mind, a man's mind, I, I hear really two fundamental issues. From the other side of the aisle, I hear the conversation being about free. This is free. We need to take it, and it's free. And, and we need to do it now. And that's sort of the fundamental message that my brain receives. Now, my brain, being a man's brain, sort of thinks differently. Because I say, well, it's not. If it's free, is it really free? Because I say, in my brain, there's a cost to this. I'm a man. I'm a man. I have a man brain. We built the Eiffel Tower from hard work and brawn. I have a brain that's three times the size of your brain. It's science. <laughs> The dude is doing, he's pulling an anchor man. That's almost exactly an anchor man. Okay, I, I listened to this clip four times before we came on air. The entire time I'm trying to get where he's coming from. Okay, I just don't get it. So, uh, are you saying that women are weak and that's why they, they need something that's free because they need to be taken care of and men, we are the independent, rational thinkers and we obviously have figured everything out and I'm smart enough to know it's not free but you silly women you think it's free oh isn't that cute go back uh, fetch daddy a sandwich oh they're so awkward now I got news for this guy uh, and let me explain it to him because apparently I have a woman's brain because I'm in favor of the Medicaid expansion no we get it we know it's not free we know that it doesn't uh, rain healthcare at uh, 7 p.m. every Thursday, but it comes out of your tax dollars. So the way the Medicaid expansion works, and it, it's great because it shows you he's the ignorant one, he has no idea. If you don't accept the Medicaid expansion, you're still paying for it. Like in Texas, they, they rejected it, but it's still coming out of their federal taxes. So either you pay for it and you get it, or you pay for something and you don't get it. Shove that in your man brain pipe and smoke it. You're the one who doesn't know about the bill. What are you kidding me? So you want to pay for something and not get the benefits of it. How little do you know about economics and government? How little do you know about healthcare? 